Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video and round 4 of our F1 2006 Championship Edition career mode. Yes, we return this weekend to Imola for the San Marino Grand Prix. If you missed out on the video that went live a couple of days ago from Australia, I would highly recommend going back and checking it out. Turns out it was a rather dramatic race uh, in Albert Park, so very, very interesting to have a look at the Drivers' Championship. Giancarlo Fisichella leading the way, one point clear of Michael Schumacher uh, with Fernando Alonso, reigning world champion in P3. Montoya, Button, Jano Trudy, Kimi Raikkonen, Barrichello, all with some decent points on the board there as well. And, of all people, Takuma Sato as well has scored a point so far this season. That means constructors-wise, uh, we're last currently. Super Aguri there, now ahead of Toro Rosso and Midland. But hopefully, we can try and turn it around this weekend, of course. If you're new around here, please do make sure you get yourself subscribed to the channel. Trying to hit 120k at the moment. But let's get into it, though. Ready for... I'm, I'm going to call it the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix, but it is the San Marino Grand Prix. So I've decided against now doing the race car evolution programs in the future just because it doesn't actually seem to make any difference um, when we jump into free practice and nothing seems to change as well uh, when we get into qualifying. That chicane is very, very different to how I remember. But of course, I've been reading through your comments uh, and apparently Imola is one of the hardest tracks on the calendar. And so far, we, we haven't had the most fun in the opening three Grand Prix, at least not um, in the team's eyes anyway. So really going to try and come into it uh, with a different mindset this weekend here at Imola. Just looking, you know, we're not too worried about the pace. We just want to try and survive as we make our way around this opening lap in free practice. It's been a little while since I played the game. Uh, and of course, yeah, basically all of you are just telling me to avoid the curbs like there's no tomorrow. So that's going to be my game plan. Uh, we'll see how that affects our pace and things like that. It's up into the chicane we go. That is a very, very fast chicane on this game. Of course, yeah, Imola kind of had a weird little place in Formula 1 for a very long time. This was the last uh, San Marino Grand Prix back in 2006. Um, for obviously, for those of you that don't know, San Marino, actually a very, very small country uh, nestled inside Italy. Um, most people will probably just know it because their football seems pretty bad because uh, it's it's got a tiny little population and this was at a time of course where F1 was still pretty strict on having one Grand Prix uh, per country. Of course Germany uh, had the European Grand Prix uh, and I believe the Nürburgring was Hockenheim was the German Grand Prix as that's going to be one of the Hondas flying past me. But yeah, San Marino 2006 uh, was the last race here. And it was actually, I think, again, another good battle uh, between Alonso and Schumacher. They'd had two good battles here in both 2005 and 2006. Uh, but I think it was this time around Sumac uh, sorry, Schumacher, even. He's not a Christian Ronaldo Ronaldo fan. Schumacher. Um, yeah, this was, I think, the last... Uh, obviously, this was Schumacher's last win here at Imola. We've got to be so careful of that wall. Oh, I would just... Uh, don't hit a wall. Um, I was wondering how evil that... I mean, it's, it's a completely flat curb, but this is F106, so it's going to still spin you out anyway. Um, yeah, going to continue doing a few more laps of practice here, just to make sure we're up to pace and we know everything that we need to be careful of. I think it's just going to be very, very interesting. Obviously, the AI can just attack curb. Um, and I, I, I can't, quite simply. Although, we, we can extend... No, we can't extend there. Oh, this game, man. This game, it's, it's scary. Welcome to qualifying at the legendary San Marino circuit. Session one, the first knockout session, is upon us. So without further delay, let's see who survives the first chop and who's relegated to the back of the grid. Right, well, did plenty more laps then in free practice and now finally feeling ready to jump into qualifying. Uh, not 100% sure whether we'll make Q2 today. AI do seem very, very competitive round here. Um, but, you know, we'll give it our all as always, and we'll try and make sure at least that obviously we beat Christian Albers. We know we've had the raw pace over him every race this season, um, but just have not have not quite found the checkered flag, which is kind of quite important in the world of F1. Right, first lap then coming up as we make our way through the final couple of corners. Clearly a lot of cars want to try and get out into qualifying nice and early. Use all that exit curb 
out of the final chicane. Of course, doesn't exist anymore. We've got a Renault heading out of the pit lane. Are they going to get in the way? Very, very careful of him. Route turn one, but hopefully he's going to get up to speed or move. One or the other. He does finally opt to move out of the way. Oh, no! That was the tidiest I've done the chicane all weekend. Got one more AI. BMW Sauber trying to make it through, but up to that point, that lap had felt pretty decent. So we'll, we may as well lock in the Delta anyway, but that is so annoying. Around in the final chicane then to finish off my first lap. A 132.6 is nothing to write home about, but with a spin, I reckon we've actually got some okay pace. Oh, oh, just nicked the end of the curb as we went down into Aqua Minerale. That was not ideal, but we get away with it. Definitely going to be slightly down on time. Yeah, you can see 50 seconds split. I mean, what's going on here? This is a traffic paradise. As we round our way in towards the final sector, we've got AI all over the road. And we got a Red Bull brake checking me as well. For, for good measure, because why not? What on earth's gone on through the final corner? There's another... There's a Renault gone. We've, we've somehow gone slower than we did the first time, but we need to get a new wing on the car. Right, so 124.8 then is the time to be. I genuinely reckon we can get there. Uh, be a second clear of Christian Albers as Mark Webber again struggling in his Williams car, but we've just got to try and deliver the lap and hope that we don't get stuck in traffic this time. We should still have time to do two runs then here in Q1, but yeah, we know we've got some pace in the car. We, we still just don't quite know exactly what pace we've got. Come on, slower cars. Is that uh, Christian Albers? I don't know. By the way, he's in the way as we make our way. That might be a Super Aguri. In fact, as we get lucky over the curbing that time, you just never quite know whether it's going to throw you off or not. He really hasn't performed so far. The car just doesn't seem to want to do it. Nice line through the chicane. We've still got my teammate, I believe, in the way. So we make our way down in towards the final couple of corners. I know a lot of people have said it, but for a 20-year-old 20, 20 game, it does not age badly. What has aged badly is Christian Albers refusing to move. Come on, man. Get out of the way. So we're going to get slowed up through the final few corners of this run. Keep it clean and tidy through the chicane. Oh, great. Thank you. Up towards the line. 25-7 puts us still in P19. And we haven't even got enough time to go out for a final run there. If Christian Albers out qualifies me, I, I'm not going to be happy. I feel like we could have probably beaten Luizzi, but I'm not convinced there was another second on it. But we are out in Q1 for, I believe, the first time this year. Well, there we go then. We are down in P19 at the end of qualifying then. Uh, Luizzi speed uh, in the Toro Rossos. Myself and Albers in the Midlands and then Ide and Sato in at the Super Aguras there. So your usual six out in Q1. But let's get into it though. Time for the San Marino Grand Prix. I am nervous as always. We're live from the Autodromo Enza Edino Ferrari in the small town of Imola for the San Marino Grand Prix. 4.9 kilometers with 17 corners in all, Imola is situated close to Bologna in northern Italy. It's a wonderfully atmospheric circuit named after the late Enzo and his son Dino Ferrari, whose Marinello headquarters are just a short drive away. The Tifosi are here as usual in their thousands, hoping for a Ferrari victory. On pole, second is Kimi Raikkonen. Third is Michael Schumacher. Fourth is Rubens Barrichello. In fifth place is Jensen Button. Alongside him is Fernando Alonso. David Coulthard starts seventh. Heidfeld will start from eighth. Right, well, a very, very popular pole position, I'm sure, the for Felipe here. Massa. But we are lining up in P19 then the on the grid. On I didn't press anything there, so I don't know how we've started going, but let's, let's just try and get some heat into the tyres. What I loved when I went to Imola last year was the fact that the track hasn't changed since it was used back in the early 2000s. You know, grandstands are still like, exactly the same. Um, you know, it really does feel like a track lost to time in kind of a weird way. Of course, you know, I've loved seeing it back in Formula 1. Am I convinced it's going to stick around for a lot longer? Not particularly, to be honest. But, you know, certainly the history here 
is, you know, as important, if not more important, than most other tracks. Um, you know, such a dangerous circuit back in the day, and, you know, always talks of Ferrari and, of course, Ayrton Senna. Massa lining up then on the pole as we head our way in towards the final few corners then, just about getting enough heat into the tyre, struggling a little bit with the rear left, but fingers crossed. We can try and get a good clean getaway here as we pound down in towards turn one. San Marino Grand Prix here from Imola. I am looking forward to this one. Uh, engineer just mentioned that we need to try and make sure that we get to the end so the sponsors get their TV time. There's a car blown up. The race is go, go, go. And that is Mark uh, Rosberg even, who's not even started. Massa leads out of the first turn. Behind him is Kimi Raikkonen. Next is Michael Schumacher. Oh, we've already made up a place then. As, well, hello, Alba's trying to send it down my inside of Turn 1. We'll just jump out of the way. And I'll get a six-second slowdown for that. That's rather impressive, but... I can't do anything at the moment, Engineer. But, yeah, one of the craziest starts then you'll ever see. Wouldn't get that in a modern F1 game, would you? An engine failure before things have even kicked off. And if you tell me it's unrealistic, look at Yuki Tsunoda. Just a few weeks ago back at Monza as well then. But now we've got it all to do from the rear of the field once again. Can we try and instantly have a look down the inside of Yuji Ide? Not quite at the top of the hill there. But yeah, that Rosberg's Williams going up immediately at the start of the race is really not what Williams would have wanted. Really struggling so far this season. Yep. Tyres all up to temperature, but I believe it's still Felipe Massa uh, that leads the way at the front of the field. Ide very, very slow through the chicane. Can we try and get a run down the hill in towards the last couple of turns? He's going to really squeeze me. He's Yuji Ide. We'll try and have a look around the... It's Ide! He's out of the race. That's got to be a disappointing result. He got involved in that scrape as well. Luckily, he seems to have gone away unscathed. Well, thanks for that, Yuji Ide. Gave me no room whatsoever. And as... Well, I'm going to claim he's taken himself out there. Um, let, let me know down in the comments below again just how much of a dirty driver I am. The field looks like this. Massa is first. Raikkonen is second. Michael Schumacher third. Barrichello fourth. Button is fifth. Uh, is sixth. No! David Coulthard is seventh. Keep it out the wall, keep it out the wall, keep it out the wall, keep it out the wall. So we hit then the Super Aguri's oil. So that's both Super Aguri's out there by lap two. But that's what happens when you hit an oil slick inside F1 Championship Edition. There we go, up to 19th then, so back to where we qualified, but a long, long way behind the rear of the field, but both Super Aguri's gone, and we almost joined them. And another one gone, Jensen Button's out as well, so we have four DNFs before we've even made it to the end of lap two. It's going to be how we pick up places today then, and three Honda Power units have gone. Scott Speed then, uh, what's that? 10 seconds up the road. Hopefully we're going to start being able to close down that gap a little bit more, but honestly, I'm not convinced having this free track space is the worst thing in the world for us early on today. And there we go. If I ever wondered if I had the pace at the end of qualifying already down into the 24s on race day, we could have absolutely made Q2 if it wasn't for Christian Albers. No! We were taking so much time out of the AI, but a little bit of too much curb. Engineer there just warning me about the low tyre temps again, but yeah, we're still quick. Coulthard still causing a bit of a train then from P6 downwards, but yeah, the gap to speed then back up to 8 seconds, but we, we are a good 2-3 seconds a lap faster. So we know we've got pace in the car, it's just the consistency. How many times have I said that this season? Oh, we've lost someone else. I think that's Mark Webber gone. There we go, up to P17. And we're still taking time out of speed and Alba's in front here. I mean, if this race is going to be this atricious, as I think we've still got Montoya and Fisichella outside of the top 10. So scary whenever you go off the road. Um, but, yeah, we could be on just for a decent result by surviving. Which says a lot of the state of Formula 1 back then. Oh, we've got cars pitting as well. Then David Coulthard has just come out of the pit lane. A very, very early stop for Red Bull, but I'm guessing that's why he was so high up the order 
early on in the race. Clearly went low fuel in qualifying, but nice to actually see another car on the track. As our tyres, yeah, definitely falling off. So, got to remember to pit as well. Felipe Massa might be about to get undercut then, as he's got a massive advantage at the front of the field. I've got no idea where I need to be slowing down for the pit lane, though, here. Let's have a look as we make our way in. There we go. Clean and tidy. Wonderful. Thank you, engineer. Um, but, yeah, we need to make sure we get a nice, clean, tidy pit stop. Slowly learning the pit stop mechanics on this game, but still need to make sure I mash the right buttons. Uh, that... Like that, um, like that, I'm just kind of spamming buttons, and there we go, 11 seconds, I can't remember if that's better than the one we did in Malaysia a few weeks ago, but we can only hope, as Massa, as we head out of the pit lane, is running his way through the final corner, so got to be very, very easy on the tyres on the outlap, but yeah, we're almost at half distance then. Maybe we can try and undercut our way a bit further forward as well. Oh, we got an oil slick somewhere on the circuit. Nice and easy as we round our way through the final couple of corners. No idea who it is. Uh, we're still P17, so I can't see anything. Where is that oil slick? Uh, nowhere to be found. So I've got no idea what that's about. But we're up to P16. Maybe it's a Red Bull. Maybe it's clean. I don't know. Felipe Massa finally making its pit stop. Oh, holy. That was very, very careful through the Gilles Villeneuve chicane. Um, yeah, Massa, though, should, I believe, still be in the lead of the race. He's done very, very well in the opening half. But, I mean, Christian Albers might be up inside the top ten at the moment. He hasn't pit still, because I'm hoping we can undercut him. But he's doing a fantastic job. Yep, so, confirmation then. It is, in fact, David Coulthard out of the Grand Prix. Is Christian Clear now... Up inside the top 10. But when is Albers going to pit? Surely he can't do the whole race. No! Oh, I just attacked that curb too much again. And that's how dangerous this track is. Almost putting ourselves in a wall. I don't get how when you spin out the tyres go cold. But, yeah, I mean, I wanted to try and beat Speed and Albers here. But we're still, well, we were five seconds back. We're now close to 15 again. I don't believe Albers is out of the race. It feels like something the team would have told me if he was, but he definitely still hasn't pit. Can you no-stop inside F1 Championship Edition? Is it is it something you're allowed to do? And has Albers going to absolutely nail it? Or is he going to pit frustratingly late in the race? And maybe give us someone to fight with. Okay, so if Christian is still running, then he's still not in the points. But yeah, we don't really seem to be taking much time at all at a Scott speed anymore, so I've kind of got no idea what's going on with my teammate, but if he's on for a decent result, then fantastic. But I'm, I'm just starting to wonder that he might not actually be in this race anymore. Well, the other thing I was really hoping for late on in the day is we don't get lapped here by Felipe Massa, but it's starting to look scarily close. And of course, the other thing I don't want to do is take him out as he tries to lap me, because I feel if I did that, especially here at Imola, I'd probably be leaving the circuit in a body bag. Of Felipe Massa then as we head in towards the final lap of the Grand Prix. Looks set to take an emotional first victory for himself and obviously his new team with Ferrari there. They're going to win three of the opening four Grand Prix this season, but yeah, the track that bears their former owner's name, Felipe Massa, is certainly going to state his intent at a world championship this year as well. They're rounding his way through the final couple of corners. We've got to make sure we stay out of the way as we round our last lap, but Massa wins it. Massa races past the chequered flag for the maximum 10 points and top spot on the podium. I'm sure we'll be absolutely ecstatic with that. And Felipe Massa, a Formula One Grand Prix winner. Raikkonen will cross the line second. It appears that Martin Brundle doesn't really want to give us much of a grid rundown as our tyres falling off on this final lap, but where is Christian Albers? I cannot work out for the life of me whether he's still in this race or what. Ralph Schumacher seems to have had an incident on the final lap of the race, and so he might be able to move up to P... Yeah, we're P15 then. So we will take the extra freebie then right at the end of the day. It's certainly been a race of attrition, but one more sector to go here from Imola, and, well, I guess 
you know, the race result might not be exactly what we wanted. We are going to finish last, but as long as we don't do anything stupid through these final few corners, we are going to finish the race for the first time this season. We got a bit unlucky with a couple of spins. Uh, one of them, there was nothing I could really do when the Super Aguri blew up in front of me. But we know we can fight. We know we have got the pace. And now we've proven we can finish her well. It's P15 here at Imola. And that concludes the first European race of the season. San Marino has played host to many great races over the years. And this has been no exception. It just remains for me to say goodbye. And just remind you that we'll be back in 14 days time at the Nürburgring in Germany for the European Grand Prix. Thank you and goodbye. Well, there we go then. Felipe Massa taking the dub ahead of Raikkonen and Michael Schumacher. The other Brazilian of Barrichello in P4. They're beating at Alonso and Heifeld. Coulthard did finish. So I reckon it was Christian Albers then that retired from the race. And yes, it was. Albers not classified there. Ralph Schumacher a lap down as well. So Ralph Schumacher, Christian Albers, Weber, Button, Sato, Ide and Rosberg all failing to see the checkered flag. But we will take P15. A minute 22 behind Felipe Massa there. That's going to mean Schumacher retakes the lead at the top of the table. Fisichella still ahead of his teammate Alonso. Uh, Massa now up at a P4 there, which is going to really bring the gap down in the constructors. You can see the rest of the Drivers' Championship there. Sato back down to P16. We are up to 21st. We're beating Yuji Ide again, so we need to try and make sure that we keep finishing races and trying to pick up points when and where we ever can this season. Constructors-wise, though, tied between Ferrari and Renault at the top of the table there. McLaren still beating out Honda. Toyota ahead of Sauber. Uh, and, yeah, we are still, I believe, in last place. But thank you all so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed, do make sure to leave a like. Get yourself subscribed. We've finished an F1 race on F1 Championship Edition, and I am very, very happy with that. A massive thank you to all of my YouTube members and my Patreon supporters for their continued donations to help my work. These things go much further than I think a lot of you ever realise and allow me to continue making content full-time here on YouTube. So if you want to support me from as little as £1 a month and be featured on all of these end clips, either click the Join button next to the Subscribe or head over to my Patreon. There's a link down in the description. Thank you.